All right, we just dinked around for a day driving up here and uh, getting a vehicle at the other end of the park. So this is the start of our big adventure, west, uh, west border to east border. Straight across on the Petawawa route, we're on the edge of the Magnetowan River right now. Canoes are on the shore, it's time to start. So getting a little late start, 9.30, so we gotta book it. There you go, let's go. All right. And we're off. Gorgeous day. This is supposed to be our coldest day, so if this is our coldest day, we're laughing. Already got my shirt off. And our first portage. Six minutes in. Hey? Okay? First meal break. Just whipping up a little dehydrated meal here at the. This is where the uh, Petawawa dumps in the Petawawa, so. We're on the river now for a bit, so we're just going to have some lunch and uh, maybe cast a couple lines out here. Oh. We got a fish. Not good for much though. One of those fall fish. Looks like a big chub. It's fun though. This is my favorite kind of paddling. Through the little narrow stuff. This is fun here, We're cruising down the Petawawa. It gets really narrow and fun, and then it opens up a little bit, but uh, I like this kind of paddling. It's tight. Well, we just finished our longest portage of the day, just 950 meters, so that's not too bad. Look at all the ducks over here. There's more coming in the side. They're ganging up on us. They're merganging, merganging up on us. There they go. I'm sure this GoPro will show them like little ants out there, but anyway, we're making good time. We only have maybe another hour and a half to go before camp, so uh, these little pack boats are sweet. Let's see if I can get these. Oh, there they go. There they go. <laughs> Just paddling into Misty Lake. It's uh, you see in the trees there. The fall colors are just starting to come. It's a Romney's Everest Kendall Mint Cake. Kendall Mint Cake. That's before August 17th. <laughs> From the UK. From the UK. It's like a sugar cube. Yes, very sugary. Looks good. I like it. It's like the inside of the Scotch Mint. Yes, or a pep. Like it. It's good. You don't even need to brush your teeth anymore, right? No, I'm just eat this sugar. Good thing I didn't bring a toothbrush. Perfect. It's only a week. It's only a week. Well, we're just coming up to our first campsite of the trip. We're in this back little uh, river. It's nice and calm. What? Talking to the camera. We made it. It's our campsite number one. I'll give you a little quick tour. There's our. Uh, our fire pit area. Nice little grassy, grassy spot over here, and then real nice mixed bush. So lots of firewood back in there. Privy. Here we got the lake. Nice and calm now. Canoes. Funny looking log. Very nice. We get camp set up and get some fire going. Fire and supper. <laughs> Alright, getting camp set up here. Dinglehead's got his tent here. Dinglehead? What is it called? It's a uh, Dinglehead. Extra Dingles. <laughs> Big Agnes Fly Creek U01. Big Agnes Fly Creek. And it's nice and close here. This is my get up. As you can see, like I said before, there's no, no bug nets this time of year because it's such a because it's so cold, there'll be no bugs. Right? Right, Joe? Right? Yeah, it's Bug City here.
pushed over a nice uh, a nice maple back there and uh, happy with that that's what we'll be burning tonight just one one tree I got the goods start the fire obligatory fire lighting sequence one <laughs> one of seven Do it? I think we did it. Fire! Well, before it, uh, it gets too dark out, I want to get my bear line up so I don't have to fart around with it in the dark. So I got a good branch up here behind me. So I'm going to try and throw this up over there. There we go. Nice. So, yeah. I'll just leave that there. When it gets dark, I'll bring my food over and then I'll tie it to the uh, tree beside. So, that'll be good. There. And that's what uh, I'll be doing somewhere every day of the trip. So. Well, supper's in the books. Bear bag is hung. Starting to, sun's going down. So, as any good uh, Canadian, we're going to go up for a rip. Going off for a rip on the canoes just to catch the catch the evening. There he goes. All right, this is uh, the end of day number one. Good day today. What do we do? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Clicks. Twenty-seven clicks, and uh, we got our. Our portaging balance down. How do you say? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. The first few portages were pretty rough, and then we got everything balanced out, and uh, we're going good. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, we're ready for another six days. It's uh, <laughs> we're into the we're into the trip now. Didn't yeah. do a lot of filming today. Just just kind of getting into the groove, getting and... back in the groove. So, anyway, that'll be our night for night one. And uh, shout out to John. What hey, up, John? John? Paddling out in the middle of the lake, and uh, some guy yells out, Hey, Doug and Joe! <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah, it was really cool. So, all right, we're just going to sit by the fire tonight and uh, go to bed. <laughs> and then there'll be morning. So. <laughs> and then there'll and be then. seven more times. Yep. So, so, yeah. So, so, so. Evening day one. We'll see you guys in the morning. Getting some water on the boil. Got some coffee and oatmeal. She's a foggy, foggy morning. All right, well, I had some uh, breakfast and uh, I'm just gonna clean up camp as the fog burns off. Kind of cool, you can kind of see the fog over here just kind of turning a little bit yellow. So the sun's coming up over at the side there, so. I'll start burning it off soon, so clean up camp and back in the canoe. Just out on the water as Joe finishes packing camp. What a beautiful morning. Just feel that sun beating down. It's going to be a good day. Young Joseph's new green canoe. Same as uh, mine, only in green. The Emerald Grace. The Emerald Grace. You know, every canoe needs a name. What What on earth is Emerald named oh, after? This is my, the Emerald Grace is my daughter. Oh! Yeah, her name's Emerald and I have a 
I have a green boat. The color is emerald. Just, just seems fitting, you know. Fitting. Can we go yet? Are you ready? Uh huh. All right. And we're off into the misty. That sun is up and it's going to be a warm one today for September. It's going to be great weather all week, according to the weatherman anyway. I made a deal with Joe to leave our rain jackets out. Apparently I'm the only one that uh, followed through, so hopefully it doesn't rain. The size of these saw blades left over from the uh, logging days. Man. Look at him. Doop de doop doop doop. After a day, I finally got this uh portaging figured out with this canoe and this pack so I got no hands holding the canoe just this uh, rope keeping a little bit of tension it's fantastic I'm a big fan of a light canoe well we've come way out of our way here off the route to uh, follow the uh, this water, the rapids here, the uh, portage takes us far the other way, but uh, we circled back just so we could fish under here and hopefully we can catch something. Oh, nice. Nice little rookie. Very nice. Doug just got two trout. Ah, you ruined it. <laughs> okay, so I hiked up the, uh, the other side of the waterfall. There's another waterfall farther up with a flat spot there. I just hiked up without the camera. Got two nice trout, oh, one about sure. eight inches, and the other one was a good, really good foot, good 12 inches, had a real good pull. So I will never go anywhere without the camera again. So I have to listen to him. Sure, bud. I showed you one. You did. I did. True story. Tiny, tiny one. We've got the bug, and we're having a real hard time stopping fishing, but we're getting behind in our day. So it might be a later supper. I was excited until I saw this guy. There's our lunch. Well, bam. Young uh, Joseph in the green canoe. I was in that cursed uh, red canoe, <laughs> which uh, doesn't, Must be the problem. doesn't catch fish. So oh, I got the fall fish and should have kept him from the last spot. But anyway, I got to eat Joe's fish for lunch. So I don't know how I feel about that, but. Some I brought some humble pie as well. You got some humble pie, so. Time to eat. I got these uh, little trouts all cut up and uh, getting that little bush buddy fire going. We're going to put some fish crisp on these and fry them up for uh, some lunch. So. Oh, she's ready. Skin side down. Ba bam. Those are some alright plays. They're okay. They okay? They okay? They're okay. Roll over. Well, it's very good. You wanna, you wanna cheers her? Cheers her, bud. Cheers <laughs> good stuff. Got some water on for coffee. Touch your mouth. We chew. We chew with our mouth closed on this trip. Trout is eaten. So good, but look at what we're look what we're doing. We're, we're sitting on the edge of the river. We got jerky. We eat trout. It's good. We got a 
coffee. Joe said I'm down to one coffee, so I started making a pot instead. Oh. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, two o'clock. We just finished our uh, last portage of the day. We got what three three more lakes to go up before camp, but uh, we're done portaging, so that's nice. We spent a lot of time fishing. We're gonna do it again. But we're gonna do it again because that portage is the end of a rapid, so just a just a couple casts. Yeah, a couple hundred. Fishing is addictive, kids. Sometimes a couple extra casts worthwhile. Beautiful. So on the issue of uh, having two solo canoes, what do you uh, what do you think, Joe? Because I think it's so much better. Yeah, man, it's uh, we can paddle, go where we want, leave when we want. We're still in, we're independent, but we're uh, a company. Company, yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's the way to go, man. Honestly, unless it's like with like somebody who doesn't have one of it, like Mike or my wife, I'm never gonna paddle a tandem with him. No, me neither. Look up, way up. That's high up there. I call Rusty. They call Rusty. I don't think they know the friendly giant, do they? Some. Some, some would. would. Well, Woo. we're happy to see another portage. I think earlier we said there were no more portages until we looked at the map proper. <laughs> So there's three more portages. We got two more lakes to go. It's 5:30, so we got a couple hours still. So we're probably pushing six o'clock. Got two more lakes to do, so we gotta keep on moving. We'll be late getting to camp today. Man, your friend. This little guy. They're pretty cute, eh? Yeah. Nice one too, man. Fish on. Look at that. That's wow. a beauty. Woo! Nice. Glad we stopped. Even though we're behind schedule, it's worth a couple casts. Joe just ran to the end of the portage to see if there's any surprises. Otherwise, I think we're just going to run them. Last uh, portage of the day. I think it's doable. We just saved the portage! All the sunset you're gonna see tonight. We'll be at camp soon. Hopefully. It's a great spot. Look at the uh, the fire pit over here. It's got like a little what do you call it? Mantle. It's fantastic. Beauty. It's the Bush Buddy Supper. The big cookout. Yep. I'm starving to death. What is it? Ten to nine. <laughs> supper time. Oh, late supper. All right, I'm gonna eat this, or I'll hang out by the fire for a bit.
Morning day three. Another beautiful morning. Misty, misty morning. Just gonna get some oatmeal and coffee going and got something for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's a coffee and oatmeal morning. Imagine that. And we'll break camp and uh, do it again. And again. We got another good day of paddling today. We may have, may or may not have learned a lesson yesterday <laughs> to uh, just relax on the fishing a bit. That was uh, we were pretty late getting to camp. So anyway, let's grab some coffee and uh, breakfast and break camp. So here we go. Lots of condensation on the inside. Time to pack up camp and uh, get on the water. Feel better? Yeah. That was good. Good. I'm happy for you. vacation of the of the bowels all right vacated them in a complete manner good job i'm a big boy who's a big boy oh another one i'm just waiting uh waiting for joe to uh get his camp cleaned up and we're off okay we're both on the water ready to roll 8 40. 8 40. Well, that's late, but that was a great, great campsite. Yeah. I remember that one. You can hear the roar of water down at the Cedar Rapids, so hopefully there'll be some fishing at the bottom. Gonna mix it up a bit. That's a uh, lunch. We're gonna eat good today. Really? Yeah. Joe's got another one. Got this spot here, water's coming down, but this it gets really deep right here beside my canoe. So uh, we're taking like five nice ones out of here already and put a few back, but great spot. Oh yeah. There's a good one. Terribly good time. And this is exactly what happened to us yesterday. <laughs> we came in in the dark almost. Yeah, we can't do that, man. And we gotta cook fish again. Yeah. So we're gonna have to cook, but just just a couple more casts. I gotta tell you, these are so pretty. I can't believe it. I can't even show you. They're so wild. See, look look at the colors. It's just gorgeous. 
Okay, back you go. There's our uh, today's lunch. Look at the depth of the color. I've, I've said that ten times now. The color. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so nice. Okay, we're gonna gonna cut these guys up and uh, get a little bush buddy fire going and eat them. Well, that's what uh, the meat we got from those fish. Flayed them up and just cut them up in manageable sized pieces. So Joe's got the old bush buddy going here. So next will be same as yesterday. We got the uh, fish crisp, and we'll uh, we'll batter them up in fish crisp and fry them up. Frying her up. Looking good. It's so good. So good. But we gotta get going again. <laughs> <laughs> now we're doing fine for time today. This is yesterday again. <laughs> so, we're gonna clean up our mess, finish the portage. Paddle. Paddle. But there might be one more spot that has some rapids. Oh, I would assume so, yes. So, we'll get there. <laughs> what are you doing, Doug? I'm making the pots clean. <laughs> Dirt. It's the best cleaner. Okay, another portage done. What lake are we in? Uh, river, I don't know. River. Oh, they all, uh, they all flow together. We'll give you an update on the map tonight. Kind of have to. Look at that. Woo! Oh, man. Beauty. Gorgeous. I'm gonna get you back in the water. Wow. What could be better? Got a belly full of fish. Just caught another fish. The sun is shining. So far this trip has been just fantastic. Super stoked for three more days. Having fun? I am. Um, I think today might be my favorite day. It's been a good day. It's been a really good day. It's only uh, half done. Yeah, it's lots of fun. We caught, a, we caught a lot of fish today already. Yeah, more fish than I thought we were going to catch on the whole trip. Well, you're welcome. Sure. <laughs> First cast. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these fish. It's like a rainbow. Amazing. I 
Okay, back in the water. Got another one. Right, this is a big one, man. Unless it's just a current. Oh my goodness. Wow. Go. I see it. Let's not break the record now. Let's not do anything foolish. Oh, look at him. Look at that. There's a big guy. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice bird. Look at the size of him. Wow. What a beautiful fish. The black. Oh. Okay. You, beautiful fish, can go free. Free! Screenshot. Man, the, the darkness of the mouth contrasts to how light the body is. is crazy looking. Gorgeous. Yours is, yours is bigger. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, it's time to get uh, serious again. It's after three o'clock and we dilly-dally with more fishing, but I have no regrets. We turned on our uh, GoTelly uh, GPS device, which is pretty cool. It's, uh, we can text each other, and, but right now, for the next hour, we're just gonna see the distance we cover in an hour in these small canoes. I do believe we're, we paddle faster than uh, any tandem canoe would speed wise but uh, we'll see how far we go in one hour so no stopping as promised it's 417 took a minute to freaking get going but well, this last lake, we had a headwind. Uh -huh. Now we're going with it, but uh, not as fast as I think we would like to have gone. I'm going to say four and a half, four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. We got 4.98. Okay, and we were actually... So five kilometers. Really? That's fair. We got 4.98. Five kilometers. Five kilometers. And we were going against the wind and on if we're being honest looking for where we were supposed to turn a couple times yeah but that's that, pretty good yeah that's pretty good no, i'm happy with that and we're almost at our camp i don't think i'd plan a trip around five kilometers an hour no so that's good yeah very good homeward stretch a couple more bends in the road and we'll be at camp so see you at camp I just left Joe up at the second last campsite. It's kind of a high camp, pretty windy. So I'm just gonna run down here and check this last uh, last camp and then uh, if it's any good, I'm gonna text him to come over. But no sense both of us going to have a look. The camp he's at will do. But uh, if this one's any better and less windy, then uh, we'll take it. Well, the campsite I'm at is uh, no uh, no better actually it's probably smaller than the one that Joe's at right now so I just texted Joe uh, not to come and then I'm gonna go down to the by the portage and maybe do some fishing take a couple casts at the portage hopefully there's some rapids there so anyway that's pretty cool go telly and then you can just text like uh, like a normal text back and forth and yeah pretty cool Especially, there's no, there's absolutely no service out here of any kind, so it's neat. All the stones pulled up. It's actually really pretty. Beaver just gave me a heart attack. He just slapped his tail right beside me. I didn't even see him. wasn't even looking. He's still higher. It's a real pretty area back in here. I can hear waterfalls, so there's definitely rapids. So. 
I'm going to do some fishing without Joe. I hope I get a whole bunch too. Ah. This is like uh, bad movie uh, canoeing. I can't even see the waterfall. It's just like clear, like smooth right across there. But there it is. Wow, that's a perfect level drop off. No rocks sticking up. So. All right, I gotta go hit my portage. Hey, Algonquin Park. There's a portage sign. There's the water rapids. So. I'm gonna do some casting down in here and see if I can catch a fish. Well, I don't know what it is with these. Joseph's are called fall fish, I call them chubs. But man, there's probably got 50 of them already on this trip. Kind of a nuisance. Well, just a few of them chubs, no trout. So I fished every part of it, so. We'll try again in the morning, but better get back and uh, get my camp set up. Fishing always uh, makes everything uh, delayed. Oh well. Gotta get my my tent set up. You can see it's still soaking wet from this morning. So I'm gonna set up so it can dry, so I can condensate overnight again. <laughs> and the sun's gone to bed for the night. Good night, sun. Night, pops. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my son. What are you talking about, P? Well, I was saying that um, it's going to suck in the middle of the night when I have to pee because there's a little bit of an uphill here and I, I'm going to pee and it's going to run back down <laughs> underneath my, my whole thing. Yeah. You don't... I don't do that. Hmm. <laughs> there's a ton of mosquitoes. Like, more so than we've seen the whole trip. So we're going to get this fire going. Dual purpose style. A little lighter and birch bark. gonna go. I knew that the whole time. <laughs> Just hold your hand there. It's worth it. Press, press down, hold your hand. Now kids. Maybe if you sit on it. Yeah, that'll probably work, yeah. That's good. She's gone. It was dicey there for a minute, you know. All my life's work. All right, a little third night map reading. So if you remember, we came in access number three, Magnetowan, and we came down, we paddled in through Hambone, down these couple little portages, into Daisy, and then up into the Petawawa. Then we paddled all through the Petawawa, into Misty, through Misty, into uh, Misty Forks, and camped there. And then the next day, we came, what, down into white trout, up through into big trout, all the way up into burnt root. Burnt trout. Burnt trout. <laughs> We're calling it burnt trout now. <laughs> all the way up into burnt root and turn uh, north arm of burnt root, right arm, into the Petawawa, back up into catfish, and we we're camped at the very top of catfish. And then tomorrow, we gotta go into the Petawawa through, into cedar, and then we go down to Radiant, 
and then we're in the Petawawa for the duration of the trip. All the way up. Then it goes right down the east side. So, all right. So that means tomorrow at uh, lunchtime we're halfway across Algonquin Park. Oh snap! Bam. <laughs> That's so we shouldn't do things like that. No, we don't do that. Okay, tonight's meal is chicken teriyaki and rice. I'm going to dump it in there. Two cups of water. Here we take a couple. Stir it all up. Put the lid and the cozy back on and uh, come back in 10 or 15 minutes and she'll be ready to eat. Just doing my dishes. I've got all the, the fish coming in to eat nibbles. The one back there, right here even, it's a catfish. Catfish and Catfish Lake. These are all those uh, chubs. Look at that, it's like a Christmas tree. Guy. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. All right, time to play best part of the day. Joseph, you're up first. My favorite part of the day. Uh, when we came into that big set of rapids, the deep ones, when we automatically started fishing or whatever, it was just hot, hot, hot. And I caught, I think I only caught two, but the first one I caught was real nice, let it go. Oh, on the on the big spoon too, which was a surprise. And then the second one I got was my my record breaker, my biggest my biggest brook trout I've ever got. Um, and then we kept him and ate him. Probably catching that one and eating him was my favorite part of the day. What about yourself? Well, I uh, aside from all the the trout, <laughs> you got a lot of trout today, boy. You did, yeah. You caught a lot of fish today. But uh, remember we said first thing this morning, we said we'll never remember it tonight. Oh, what was it? So we're canoeing along and there's a cliff and there's a big tree. Oh. And the, there's a bald eagle and the bald eagle took off. Yeah. And when he took off, he lost a, a big, big round of down. And it was floating in the air and we were what? 300 yards away. Sure. And I could just see it like a snowball just floating in the air. And I said, I'm going to catch it. And we went over. And I paddle, 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 paddle. And just as I was getting <laughs> up to it, it went higher. <laughs> and then it came lower. And it went higher. It, and it came lower. It like held its in midair for a while. Yeah, it was too. just so light. So that was fun. And you caught it. And I caught it. And then what'd you do with it? And I threw it in the water. <laughs> like a second later. Eagle down. <laughs> but anyway. Hold eagle down. We said we'd never remember it because I'm telling you, by evening, what you did in the morning seems like three days ago. Seems, yeah, so long ago. And it's weird, it's the same thing on every canoe trip or every long distance thing. It's like, it, it t the whole thing goes by quick, but each day is so long. Yeah. Right? So many mm -hmm. things happen. Yeah, so. Tomorrow at uh, right around lunchtime, we're going to hit our halfway mark. Which is a big deal. Yeah. Oh, halfway across the park. Halfway across the park. Tomorrow at lunch, so. That's pretty cool. We're going to hang out here for a little while and hit the hay. So, see you in the morning. So. So. Shut, <laughs> shut it. All right, camp's just about packed up, uh, which means camera's getting packed up. So today is going to be a real heavy on the portage side day. I mean, we're still paddling, but uh, we got a couple, uh, about two and a half kilometer portage, another almost a kilometer portage, and a whole bunch of little ones. So it's going to be a heavy portage day. And on top of it all, today is 
Fresh sock day. Yes. Little catfish falls redemption here. See if I can't catch a fish. No fish, catfish falls. Can't waste any more time there. Gotta get cracking. Well, we're at the beginning of our uh, two and a half kilometer portage. I guess this is why you can just see it starts going down. So about two and a half kilometers must be all rapids and whatnot here. So time to go for a walk. 2.3 kilometers, done. 31 minutes. No breaks. Who's a man? <laughs> I thought you would try, I thought you would go for it. <laughs> it's the only chance to say you're a man. A <laughs> reward for the big portage. Look at that. Oh, with the roar of the rapids behind us, two nice trout apiece. We gotta carry on to our next 900, 900 meter portage. The portage kind of day. And another portage. Wow. I don't know why we had to pour toys around this. Wow, that's beauty. Beautiful. And another portage. There's a cross of a Corbett and Corbiel, June 1st, 1888. 700 meter portage, and then we're into Cedar Rapids, Cedar Lake, which is a big lake. And then we gotta go all the way down the lake. Finally got some chop on the water. I see a nice change. A little more lively. Not impressed. Not so great. First pass of the trip. It's a little smally. Not sure what it is yet. It's a bass. Another bass. Last portage of the day. Yes, it is. Stink. You do stink. <laughs> oh, that's enough for day two. Yep. So we're in the water for the rest of the day until we hit camp. So we got to go through another lake, but uh, but a river. But we're on the homeward stretch for camp, and it is almost four o'clock. So none too early. Again, Radiant Lake. I know the GoPro won't show, but it's just all fall colors down at that end. And we got to cross this lake, and it's camp. Okay, here's our camp. Real nice, uh, nice spot here. Red pine uh, forest. Crazy big chain here. Must be left over from logging days. Shows gear bomb, but. Real nice spot. 
Joe was out in the water washing up and uh, I think I'm going there shortly myself. Spaghetti for supper tonight. It's gonna finish up eating. Probably go for a paddle, make a few casts. Not too sure about the fishing, but I'm definitely gonna go for a little evening paddle. Let the mosquitoes have the shore for now. They're coming. They're coming to get us. Well, I didn't film much tonight. Just sitting around the campfire now. I'm going to uh, wind her up shortly. But uh, yeah, good day today. Mm -hmm. Did some uh, pretty big portaging. Tomorrow's going to be no different. We got 13 different portages tomorrow. So, a lot of them back to back. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. So, we're going to hang out the fire. Drink my cup of soup, which is actually really tasty for a campfire drink. Yeah. Thanks for offering me some. Salty. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Caught two bass today. Trout. I caught one trout today. How many bass you catch? 20. How many bass you catch? None. I caught two bass today. I want to catch a bass. I caught two. Maybe tomorrow. Probably not. Keeps hogging the fishing spot. Well, good morning. Another beautiful morning. Just having some breakfast up at the camp. Look at this. Very nice. Nice to wake up to. It's going to probably be a little bit uh, less on the filming today. I mean, we've done what we've done. I don't want to get too repetitive, but can't miss these mornings. Last night I uh, I lost my favorite little uh, Lucky Cleo spoon. So I just thought I would uh, show you. I'm going to tie on this one. This is the uh, Johnson Shutter Spoon. It's just a third ounce. This has like a speckled pattern on it, but. Uh, all these little spoons, this is all I've been using the whole time. I brought jigs and uh, some little rattle, ba rattle baits and stuff, but haven't been using them. But uh, I lost it last night, so... This is my... Uh, if you can see this... When I tie... I use the old polymer knot. Hank Parker taught me this when I was about 8 years old on his, uh, his uh, fishing show he had. Hank Parker Outdoors. I just go through once, so that's on there. You come back through, same hole, like that. So I've got a loop in this hand. I just do an overhand, put her through, and then this loop here, I, without hooking myself, I put the lure 
through it and I pull it all tight. It's a simple, simple knot. It wastes a little bit of line depending on the size, but uh, she's tied. And you're good to go. So that's what I've been throwing. Just little spoons. And uh, I don't think I'll mix it up unless I get into some walleye territory where I want to do some more jigging. But these are good for uh, vertical jigging too. So this is my fishing kit for the trip. I probably don't even need that much stuff. Real uh, champion on this trip is this new uh, water filter. Never had it so easy. Out of any uh, any water filter I've ever had. It's good. That's a hair after eight in the morning, and we're off. Where's where's the lake? Oh. Blinding. <laughs> oh, a little smally. Put him right back, but this little guy. Oh. This little falls here is just full of full of bass. Like this. Little guys. This is the fourth one. The Dougie's got a walleye on my goodness. Well, as usual, we uh, spent too much time fishing. We're going to uh, hit the end of this lake before another portage, but it's already 11.30 in the morning, so we're going to have to limit the fishing a little bit more. Even though there's a tree in the water up here that's got about six bass in its branches waiting to be caught. You must say no. From my last video of five separate thunderstorms to this five beautiful days, you couldn't uh, you couldn't ask for uh, better weather. So rare this time of year too. We lucked out. portage in the books another waterfall to cast at oh that's just a fall fish Joe's being the reasonable one and head on his way so I should be too but it's very difficult one more cast well, lunch is done. Had some uh, Hawaiian chicken rice. So it's good. We're all fueled up. And we're doing not too bad. Just finished a smaller portage and we got uh, another smaller one coming and a nice big 
kilometer and a half, so we're ready for it. And that was the time you peed in your canoe. That was the time I peed in my canoe, everyone. <laughs> I skipped the main story. I skip it all. <laughs> She's a big one. Well, you wanted the uh, challenge of this trip, eh? Mm -hmm. We're getting it. We're getting it. Starting to wear a little bit thin, but for example, we've just portaged around that rapid, and we're portaging around that rapid. Basically, we came across the water. And we're doing it again. This time we're doing half a kilometer. After that, we gotta do another kilometer and then another shorter one. Man. So that must mean we've done uh, about 10 portages. Yeah. yeah, so we're getting there. Challenge it is, though. Good challenge. Okay, update. Last portage is done. Last one was 660. The one before that was a kilometer. And uh, I'm done. We're just making our way across Traverse Lake and uh, we're gonna pick out a good campsite. So it's a long, hard day. My shoulders, my arms are, are feeling it. But again, another good day. We wanted a challenge, we got it. 13 portages. The end is in sight. What a beautiful end of a lake there. We're going to camp right in the little narrows up here. It's gorgeous. Well, we made the camp. It's uh, another red pine island at the end of a uh, traverse lake. And uh, it's a great spot. Nice lookout, but. Uh, not a dead tree in sight here, so I'm starving to death, so it might just be a bush buddy night because uh, I'm whipped. Should be, a, should be an early bedtime tonight, so maybe we'll just be making the bush buddy uh, fire and uh, calling her a day. Ready for a big day again tomorrow, but that's all part of it. It's kind of like a little marathon. We wanted the challenge. We wanted the adventure. We wanted to cross the park, so that's what we're doing. And... Uh, it's been great. It's great. It's great. Come see the park, they say. <laughs> Cross the they say. All right. Getting some supper going. We've got uh, another three cheese macaroni tonight. What are you eating? Mom's chili. Mom's chili. Not yeah. mom's spaghetti. These weak arms are heavy. Right. This is the beauty of the bush, buddy. He just walked around and picked up. He's nervous, but on the surface sticks. he looks calm and ready to drop balls. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote. Down the whole crowd goes so loud he opens his big mouth, but the words won't come out. Stupid mouth. <laughs> anyway, I'm making supper. <laughs> hey, I need that. Thanks. Tell me that was recording. Oh. oh my god, that's the third time. It's so slippery. It's not. It is. Look at maybe they buttered that side up or something because it's slippery as snot. <laughs> Supper is being rehydrated. Water's on for coffee. This is done and I can go for a nighttime paddle. Beautiful night. No matter how hard the day's been, 
And how long? Nothing beats a nighttime paddle. Nice way to wind down a day. Well, we're just sitting here having a big old bonfire here in <laughs> bush buddy style. We're just too bad to work too hard for firewood. But best part of the day. Finishing the last portage and knowing that I didn't mm -hmm. have to portage again. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was a good one. Me? You ask? You. Oh. <laughs> I think uh, first thing this morning I got a real nice uh, big walleye. Mm -hmm. That was good. The only one of the trip. So far. So, yeah. We're just going to sit around by Mr. Bush Buddy for a little bit longer and go to bed. We're bagged. It's been a long day. So, we'll catch up with you in the morning. Good night. This segment of our show is brought to you by Bush Buddy. The most seen <laughs> piece of equipment on piece this trip. Piece of equipment on this trip. <laughs> Open up breakfast. What are you having today, Joe? Well, you know, Dougie. Gotta switch it up. Have a little instant oatmeal in the packet. Yep. What about you? Uh, the same <laughs> coffee. Six days of this, eh? <laughs> one more after this. One more. We're gonna do this tomorrow morning, too? Do it tomorrow morning for right, sure. One more tomorrow morning. You gotta keep it, you know, consistent. I'll, t I'll give you a hint for tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be oatmeal and coffee. <laughs> Continuity. Breakfast is done and uh, packing up camp and Gonna hit the Misty River. On the water before 8 a.m. And we're off. Today we've made a pact to uh, leave our fishing rods tied up so we don't get behind again. That's what we're going into. The Misty Mystery waters. Ooh. It is said. <laughs> I just took a spill <laughs> in the water. Oh well, I'm allowed one. Back in. And back out again. Three minutes on the water this time. How long was that 275 meter portage? Five meters. At least. <laughs> or it was just the cliffs. I'll take a flat kilometer any day of the week. That was brutal. Totally brutal. We're only in the canoe to that shore. <laughs> oh boy. Air conditioning. Oh, 
Well, we went silent for the afternoon and uh, we pushed on and we uh, we did good. <laughs> Today, it's uh, right now it's 7, 7 p.m. and uh, we still have to find our campsite up here. But a record breaking uh, distance, distance portage and distance everything. Mm -hmm. We uh, had to have been a 40. We, we were just in beast mode today, and my goodness, when we hit the end of this longest, this single portage, the longest portage of my life. You? Yeah. Like no question. Yep. And when we hit the end, it was just jubilation, <laughs> jubilation. So anyway, we we're, stink real bad. It's it's ridiculous, <laughs> but what a hoot! This like just just to finish something is why you started. Yep. Like it's just great. So, yeah. We may be setting up camp in the dark. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but we don't care. It's uh, super pumped. That was a. Uh, we just put her in beast mode and went. And uh, that's what it's all about. This trip was never about relaxation. Just to be clear. But, this but was, we did a lot of that when we were fishing. Yeah. This was a challenge that we wanted to do, and we can always say, tell all our kids that we crossed Algonquin Park one one September day. So, bam, son. Super stoked. Tomorrow, how, how, many, how many portages do we have left? One. 500 meters. One so portage. Walk in the park at this point. All right, guys. See you at camp. Look at this. Catfish on a Mips Cyclops. Well, we made the camp. We got our tent set up real quick. It's uh, obviously it's dark out, and uh, we got a little fire going. Scrounge up a few pieces of wood, and uh, it's 8:15. Time for supper. So today, just did some quick calculating. We covered 33 kilometers, but uh, 13 and a half of that was portaging. <laughs> <laughs> so. That was brutal. Thirteen and a half kilometers carrying a canoe on your head. A lot of those portages were very, very rugged. Yeah. So I worked up an appetite. Yeah. Time to get some food. No. <laughs> All right. Supper's in the books, and uh, just about bedtime. But not to be too weird or nothing, but. Uh, we may not sleep too soundly right off the bat anyway. <laughs> we were sitting here, minding our own business, a small little fire going, and there's nobody around for probably 10 kilometers, right? At nice. least, at least. And uh, 50 feet away from us, just one, one noise, it was just like, uh, and that was it. Who knows? Gave us goosebumps, that's for <laughs> sure. We grabbed the light and I ran straight at it and there's there's nothing there, nothing around. We shouted out to We're hooting nothing. and hollering and yelling and there's nothing. But it was just one tap on a tree. We haven't seen anyone in days, you no, know what I mean? No, this is like the freaky. last camp of the the whole thing. We're the closest we've been to civilization in six days. Ten clicks out, you know what I mean? We said, What would you do if you're by yourself? <laughs> I was like, I think I'd be in my canoe halfway home. <laughs> it was just freaky. Yeah. It was just weird. Yeah, it was weird. There's no explanation for it, man. It wasn't like a branch falling. No, nope. or... it was a, a a whack on a tree. Yeah, like a, a purposeful noise. Yeah. So we're documenting this <laughs> as, our, as our last thing videotape. But anyway. I love you, Emerald. Yeah. <laughs> so... Anyway, we're going to bed shortly, so we'll catch up with you in the morning. <laughs> or, or will we? <laughs> did you hear the wolves last night? I did. Heard How many times? After you mentioned it early this morning, I heard them the once. Yeah, I heard a single and the group just going crazy. Good morning. A misty morning. For a change. And the last morning. Did you ever see 
Good bush, buddy. <laughs> Coffee time. coffee. Looks like I got my crusty the clown hair going too. I got someone throwing sticks at me like a jerk. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna break camp and we've got uh, hair under 10 kilometers to go. One portage. So and then we've crossed the park. You've crossed the park. So should be uh it's gonna go quick this morning. The trip will be over. We'll be out paddling in the mist again. So, so. like I was up saying, so you I so say so so it. much. So much. So much. So I had another word that I cured myself of a while ago, but now it's so. So. I'll see you in the water. So. Bigfoot's dead. Figured out this morning what that noise was we heard last night. It's the sound of, this is what my tent peg should look like, and this is what happened. The, the connector inside? Yeah, the connector inside snapped, and that was that. And Bang! It hit off your, t your fly. Yeah, it just slapped the fly like a thud, but... Uh, All you believers, it's just tents breaking in the woods, guys. Yep, don't freak out. <laughs> Don't be a Joe. <laughs> sure. Don't cry. It. Don't ask for protection. It's just a tent peg. <laughs> this guy. Sure, buddy. And out on the water. You can see the uh, sun trying to burn through again up there. Maybe a little bit of cast it around before we get going. Or just slowly fish our way out. Another gorgeous morning. This week has been the most beautiful week of weather I think I've ever had on a trip. This is nice. We're just uh, on a very relaxed uh, time fishing our way out. Got a few little bass, nothing worth showing, but it's such a beautiful morning. We're just enjoying the last little bit of it before we're done. Well, that's the last portage and the, the last little fish. We did it. Good job, Joe. That was, uh, I don't know who I would have taken with me otherwise. Oh, he didn't even whine, no complaining. Yeah. Pushed hard. And yeah, we got the job done. So, I'm going to wrap this up right now. And we're going to load up and we're going to go for a big drive and get the other vehicle. So, if you're still with me, thanks for watching. Joe has a very little known uh, YouTube channel. If you uh, like this video, <laughs> you might want to head over to his and check out his video. So, you get a few people watching your videos. Yeah, we'll get it. He gets a few. So, thanks guys, and uh, catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>